So I'm just going to do one more set inside the flap here. So now I have um, my craft, I, I poked the holes with my craft pick and I'm going to use my craft butt aisle to make those holes just a tiny bit bigger because I can't really thread any ribbon through those tiny little holes. So I'm just gonna continue to do that and those little craft pick holes just serve as a guide. Now I have all of our glimmer screening on there that I want. And actually another little tip is to kind of make it flow on the front. You can kind of just go around your edges with that same London Fog ink so that it blends together. Just kind of go around your edges there. And then I'm going to move on to our fun stamping part. This will kind of tie in with the packing packaging, which is so fun. We're gonna use this Tim Holtz script here, and it totally goes with the packaging that came from Seven Gypsies. So we're gonna just replicate that onto our card, or envelope actually. And this is from Tim Holtz's collection called Royal Script. It's number 16 on his stamp collection. So just have these nice rubber stamps here, clean, unmounted, clean rubber stamps, and put it on to our rock -a block We're gonna be using some Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink. And this works just like glue for our embossing powder. To get our stamp good and covered and then just go to town on our envelope in all fun directions, no set way of doing this here. And remember with the rock a block, you're just going to do one solid rock. I'm going to do some going this way. Now we just pour our embossing, clear embossing powder by Ranger right over our stamp that we just made. can kind of swish it around to make sure you're getting it right on your stamp. And I am just um, feeding this little ribbon in and out just like you would um, lace your shoes up to make these little X's on this card. Not difficult at all. Once you have all the excess off, we're going to take our heating tool and right now it looks like white script. But what I love about the clear is once it's dried, whatever color is underneath is going to come through once it has dried. So I'm just going to go over it here. And you can see it turning. And then it basically enhances the color that's behind because it's like glossy. Cool. Now you have your script on your envelope. Just let that dry and then put your packaging on the front here and then you can just address it and your envelope is complete. So I am done with this part and then our last step is um, to punch some holes and hang our little butterflies. And these also were cut out from um, some graphic 45 paper. This is how the sheet looks. And we just trimmed around the individual butterflies and put some glossy accents on them. So um, I'm gonna just show you that real quick. And then these are already, um, have been drying. So those are all dried. Um, and the way glossy accents work is you just cover your cutout image just like that and let it dry. Now you want to make sure that when you are going to be mounting your stamp you've got enough room for your butterflies to hang. So I probably could trim the top of this off a little bit more than it actually even is and um, just to make sure that I have enough room.
Miranda, do you want to um, punch the holes in the wings for the butterflies just using the craft pick? Yes, ma'am. Um, just at the, the very tip of the wing, just like I did on the original card. No and I'm going to trim this off. Okay. And then I just need to um, put the three holes in the bottom. And we have any jump rings around here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do. So we have our holes. And I believe the last finishing touches before adding our jump ring is to go around this with some distress ink. And I'll just thread my jump rings through the butterflies here and get them ready to go. And now, Natalie, how did you add that fan to your card? So um, I think I just, I used either Flower Soft or you can probably use the Glue Glider Pro if you want to. Here's the, now you just have to keep in mind when you're laying your card out, you gotta eye everything up so that you know you'll have enough room for your fan and um, your sentiment. Just going to run some Flower Soft glue on the back of my fan here. Okay, there are my butterflies. The last thing that I am going to do is just put some pop dots on the back of this and we'll be all set to go. I love that card. I think Miranda has her eye on this one to take it home. <laughs> and voila! So now our card is complete yep. and all awesome. Done. And I was telling Natalie, I thought this would be great for sending to like a graduate who is on their way to discovering what they want to do in life mm -hmm. and or somebody who is maybe having a hard time and mm -hmm. maybe needs a little pick me up because they don't know what direction they want to go in right. or something like that. So anyway, it's just an awesome card. I it love the look of right it. Right there in the envelope. It does. But if we were saying if you wanted to mail it, maybe put it right. in like a bubble wrap envelope. But other than that... It's done. I hope you enjoyed this card and until next time. Bye. See ya.